Hi guys, welcome back to Neverwinter. We're here with my third character, which is uh, Mastercard and Visa. Bit of a tongue-in-cheek thing on uh, Play to Win games. So today we're going to look at some of the uh, newbie dungeons, I guess. Um, some of the earlier ones. Level 19. It's the Quagmire Crypts. So starting players can do these dungeons and do them from the random queues as well. And here's our mate Gal Nalclaw. He's a handsome fellow. So we'll just wait here. Um, so yeah, these are early dungeons and um, I guess to complete my set um, of dungeon playthroughs um, I'll do these ones as well. Just for completeness. Horrible things indeed. Um, so yeah, Mastercard, I think I made this one as a bit of a joke, um, in the early days, but, um, yeah, Neverwinter's, I don't think it's a play-to-win game, I think it's actually quite well balanced, and, um, you know, if you've got the time to actually play the game and play the content, you can achieve great results even without spending any money. So, anyway, that was my little joke when I first started. <laughs> So here we go with Pragmire Crypts. Newbie Dungeon Extraordinaire. So this uh, alternate character of mine's uh, nowhere near as powerful as the other ones, so I thought it might be, uh, you know, appropriate for a, a newbie dungeon. So when you start this one, basically you uh, have to light up these urns over here. Braziers, like the braziers. I think there's uh, three of them. Fight your way through the enemies on the way through. Watch those spikes on the right hand side. For some reason, they always get me, even though I, I know they're there. <laughs> I should be uh, smart enough to say, yeah, I know they're there. I'm going to avoid those, but. Uh, yeah, they seem to get me every time, I don't know why. So lots of un undead spawning in here. And you can see my uh, companion sidekick, um, these are the Hellhound. Uh, it's the Hellhound companion, um, he's, he's quite nice. Does like a flame attack when he gets a bit stronger. So it helps a little bit. Okay, so we've done the second brazier. Skip past these traps once again. And now we're over to uh, and now we're over to the third brazier. So open up the doorway. flame there mate. He's trying to help out as much as he can. It's always nice. Give him a little bit of a flame grilling. Oh, yeah there's traps there as well. <laughs> of course I never learn so you know. Now the good thing I guess with the control wizard is, um, you know, we've got magical attacks that you can fire off. And uh, I've got three of them that I use regularly, so... Well, I have four of them really that I use regularly, and... Um, so there's four enemies in the room, I'll hit, hit each of them with, a, with an attack. Just to, you know, share the love. And you find you can take them down a bit quicker that way. I guess this 
this uh, control wizard character is, uh, or the class, is uh, probably a, a good starting class because it's uh, easier to play. The magic abilities make it a bit easier. Thanks for the flame there, matey. You can see we've got uh, false, false walls in here, magical walls. Trap on the floor, right in the centre. There's another one around here somewhere. I think I've managed to avoid it. A couple of false walls. There's two traps there right on the side. If you just go back a few seconds you'll see it. So I tend to go straight through the middle, trying to avoid those uh, saw blade attacks. Or traps, sorry. Jumping spiders. Pull the lever and the gate opens. Now there's traps here on the right hand side, so I go left. See, I did avoid those ones. <laughs> and you heard the people that came in after me, they went straight over the trap. Kalos Tam, he's our first, uh, first boss dude. Really nothing to worry about. If you're a newbie, I suppose, uh, you know, make sure your party's with you when you do this one. You can see he's doing quite a lot of damage to me, actually. I tend to pick up these uh, these few chests here just to replenish the uh, gold supplies. Okay, Torin, let's go, buddy. Let's kick some butt. So there we go. Use all three of my abilities on each of those three guys. Magical love around. Still not over here. Yeah. Decrepit skeletons. Just keep their bony asses. Okay, pull the lever. Okay, Ogmi, it's your time to shine, mate. Okay, competing adventure party is the second uh, boss group, I guess. Through the false wall. There's five guys in here, guys and ladies, to be taken care of. You find in this dungeon, you know, attacking these bosses is a little bit of a free-for-all. <laughs> so, I don't know if there's any particular pattern that you need to follow, but... Everybody just seems to do their own thing. Nicely done, Ogmi. Okay. Pick up the seals of the adventurer what it's worth. You can trade those for items. See, I've taken quite a lot of body damage with those um, traps, so... 
There's some phase spiders here you need to uh, take care of. There's two of them. Kill the phase spiders, pull both the levers. And here we go. I think Ogme's going for a, a speed record. Okay, so we uh, open the shadow gate by um, touching that skeleton. Oh, sorry, the touching the skull. And we step through the gate, which gives us a bit of a teleport. Kill these dudes, and then uh, there's another skeleton here to touch, and it opens up this bridge. You can see all the spike traps down the bottom there, they're quite nasty, and there's some traps right there. If we'll go back and take a look, it's um, a whole row of uh, spike traps with a little gap in it. Of course I'm uh, pretty okay with avoiding those ones, so... Frosty Ray. Cool him down a bit. I cool him down and the Hellhound's giving him a bit of a torch so he doesn't know whether he's coming or going. and uh, go over the bridge and then we find ourselves at the entrance to the main boss Trevin Black Dagger so we'll just wait for all the other party to turn up This dude's got his angry posture on, so let's take him down. So give him all my magic attacks. And uh, Hellhound's giving him the flame touch. Use my daily as well. Just trying to avoid the adds at this stage. Just keep focusing on the boss. It does go down pretty quick with most parties. And take care of everybody else. And that is the end of the Cragmire Crypts. Not a bad little dungeon for new starters, it's kind of fun. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Click on like if you uh, liked the video, and uh, yeah, I guess we need to do the final one, which is the Cloak Tower the ultra newbie dungeon so that'll be my next video so i hope you liked it subscribe if you like the series and um we'll see you next time